Hi, it's Mike here again, bringing you another review video in collaboration with Factory Direct Hobbies. Um, well, this week we've got another stonker of a kit. Uh, this is the 1 in 30 second scale Trumpeter FA18F. Now, the F is the two seat variant of the Super Hornet. Trying to make the E as well. Um, aircraft obviously made famous these days by the movie Top Gun Maverick. Uh, in those two aircraft, you can be uh, Phoenix and Bob in the uh, two seat version, or you can be Hangman, Maverick, Rooster in the single seat version, which is the E. Trying to have got both of them, but this one's the F. Um, what was it like to build? Well, really good, really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Sensible construction method. Um, a few places where you have to take care. It's easy to leave a gap when you're attaching the lower part of the cockpit to the main fuselage of the aircraft. Just take a bit of time in that area. There's some complaints about the fit. Um, I don't think there need to be. You just need to take a little bit of care, a little bit of clamping to get that to go together. But it, it tests your modeling skills. It works them out a little bit. And I kind of like that. I'm not somebody who wants to build stuff that's just incredibly hard, where you feel as though it's fighting you all the way. But equally, I want to feel as though I've used a skill set rather than just having some Legos to assemble, although Legos are cool. But you know, I want to feel as though I've actually built a model. And this certainly fulfilled that for me. I really liked it. Decals, perfect. Really, really nice. And they can be a mixed bag with Trumpeter. Some of them can break apart. Um, these ones, though, really, really good. I had no problems, even with like the stripes down the side of the cockpit. Those can be problematic. On this one, no such issues. Really, really good. Uh, rubber tires, some people like those, some people don't. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know that I kind of like them. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I kind of like pushing them on and that sort of thing. It's a it makes it perhaps feel a little more realistic, uh, but if you're going down the weathering route, you could always invest in some aftermarket resin for that, something like that. Um, but really good. Again, with their Hornet, with Super Hornet range, they offer such a wide range of ordnance in the box. It's really quite impressive. Um, be careful when you're choosing your ordnance this aircraft though, because some of the stuff they've included in there isn't applicable to uh, to the Super Hornet. I, I don't know why it's like that, uh, but it's extra stuff. So just put it to one side, build it. I mean, it's cool. It's like a little kit in its own right. So you could just build it and have it anyway. Um, but yeah, just be careful what you fit. Do a little bit of research. Um, you know, the, online will tell you what it can and it can't fit on. So uh, so yeah, you should be fine there. Clear parts, excellent. Had a center seam along the middle of the canopy. Uh, you see that with most model aircraft, if not all model aircraft, to be fair. Um, I polished that off, uh, no issues. Canopy was thick enough that it was able to take that polishing without any sort of distortion or damage, um, but it still looks really good, really clear. Detail inside the cockpit, really good. You could cut it back, you could go with some aftermarket 3D decals. Um, if you're going to leave the cockpit open, that might be worth doing. Um, I'm having mine closed. I think the detail that's in there is perfectly good. I think it's really nice. Um, I just gave it a bit of dry brushing and then picked out some of the colors on the instruments and that, uh, on the, uh, the controls and that sort of thing. And I thought it looked, I think it looks really good. I think it's a very convincing um, result that I've managed to achieve with that. Um, so no complaints. I think it's really good. Awesome marking schemes on this one. I went for the uh, you know the quintessential Jolly Rogers markings because I mean you, you kind of got to, but this comes with an amazing Diamondback scheme that's got lots of red in it. It adds a real flash of colour to the aircraft. I was sorely tempted to build that one. I, have a look at it if you if you can, and it's uh, it's really is quite remarkable, and it would make a excellent statement within your collection. Really really cool addition. So. Uh, I'd absolutely build another one of these. Absolutely. I've made the E, I've made the F, maybe next it's the Growler, the G version, the electronic uh, count, uh, warfare version. Who knows? But I'd, I'd certainly not be averse to making another Trumpeter Hornet. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a thoroughly pleasant experience. Um, available at Factory Direct's hobby, Hobbies, along with the other variants, the, the E and the G that I was talking about. So check that out. They've got some great prices on there as well, some amazing deals. Um, so enjoy it. Enjoy what you're doing and happy modeling, everyone.